Penn State has a really great history of online education overall through our world campus, but we also have a really strong foundation for our online MBA program that's been around for several years and has consistently ranked in the top 10 online MBA programs. But we don't want to rest on our laurels and take that for granted, and so we recently redesigned the curriculum. We based that redesign on a lot of research with current students, alumni, faculty members, and the latest research in how to bring online education to people, not just locally, but across the states and across the globe. And part of that redesign allows us to be more contemporary and more fresh, not just in the content of the classes, but how those classes work together and also be really fresh and updated in the process of how students learn and how faculty interact with them. We build our framework, our learning framework, around a principle called ICE, I-C-E. And the principle is embedded in that. It's integration, collaboration, and engagement. And what we're trying to do here is model how the best organizations work, how the best teams learn and grow, and how the best leaders get their job done and get people to act in organizations. So we've taken principles of leadership and management and baked them into the way we do the MBA program. And that's the way business gets done. So we think about integration. We can't think just in silos anymore. We have to be able to think beyond boundaries of accounting, finance, operation, marketing. We need to be able to think about integrating in our problem solving. We also have to think about the collaborative process and what it means to collaborate, not just in a small group of MBAs and a team, but across areas of the MBA program, just like you would work across areas of a business. And that collaborative process is something that we design into how faculty operate and how we want students to operate. And the third component of engagement if you're not engaged in organizational life, either with your internal or external stakeholders, you're gonna run into trouble. And so we're trying to build an engagement into the online MBA program as well. Will there be a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning for the students? An engagement with your peers in the classroom and in your teams? Engagement with the faculty members? Engagement with alumni? Engagement with career services? All of these things help not just in the short term through the program, but to build lifelong connections as a result of having been in the program. I think one of the great advantages of the Penn State Online MBA program are the multiple groups with which the students get to work. So they'll work in teams, they'll work with other classmates, they'll work with their faculty members, but we also give students access to Penn State opportunities in terms of career services which is great for people who would like to work uh, up the ladder or change their careers. We also give people access after they've graduated from the program to the Alumni Association. And Penn State has the largest dues-paying alumni association in the world, which is a tremendous benefit, not just in the short term, but in the long term for the careers. So I think there's a real power in the ability to learn not just from the material that you read in a class, but also power to learn from the other people around you, in your team, in the class, in the program, in our corporate career services, and in our alumni network. And there are a few universities that can boast as much as we can about our alumni and our fans, and we hope that students will really be interested in becoming a part of that Penn State family.